What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial I've got something a little bit different for you guys. So I've kind of neglected a lot of the Android stuff that's come out for the PS4 recently, or not just recently but over the past few years because it's, you know, kind of a small thing, some app gets released for injecting payloads or whatever, and normally I can't do a whole video on it, but I thought I'd do a video on kind of a collection of Android apps that you can use to interact with your jailbroken PS4, you know, injecting payloads, hosting payloads, uh, installing apps and, you know, FTP, uh, modding your games and stuff like that. You can do that all from an Android device now, whether that be a smartphone or tablet. So you don't even need a computer in most cases to be able to interact with your jailbroken PS4. So everything I'm going to do here is going to be completely on the phone, even though you could use the computer to install the apps, you know, transfer the, you know, the .apk files over to your phone. Um, we're not going to do that. We're going to do everything from the phone itself. But first, a word from our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is an awesome turn-based action RPG game for your smartphone or tablet that pits epic champions against each other in this arena-style RPG. Choose your champions, level them up to gain new skills, upgrade them with new weapons and armor pieces, and then send them off to battle. There's many different ways to play, such as arena battles, boss fights, PvP, and more. It's no wonder then that this game is huge, with almost 10 million players worldwide that have already downloaded the game in just three months, and the best part is, it's free to play. Right now, my favorite champion is Gaelic because of his Hellraiser attack that deals a massive amount of damage to all the enemies at once, and the devs have a detailed roadmap of additional content to be added in updates over the next six months, so there'll always be new things to do. So don't take my word for it, there's 200,000 reviews with almost a perfect score on the Google Play Store, so go check out Raid using the link in the video description and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free Epic Champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. It's available on Android and iOS, so thanks to Raid for sponsoring this video. Okay, so there's two ways to, to use your phone to connect to your, your PS4, of course. You can either be just connected to the same Wi-Fi network or you can turn your mobile phone into a hotspot and then connect your PS4 to that hotspot. Um, so if you don't have a router for whatever reason, then you can do that. So for example, if I just head into um, settings here, I go to connections, uh, mobile hotspots and tethering and enable a mobile hotspot. And then from there on the PS4 here, I can head over to our settings, go down to network settings, set up internet connection using Wi-Fi. Uh, we can just choose easy setup. And then when it comes to the network, we're going to select our Android phone and enter the password that we have for it. Just enter the password, click OK, and then we'll be connected to our phone's hotspot. And then we'll have a good connection between our console and our phone, even if we don't have a router. Because let's say if you were taking your your um, PS4 somewhere traveling with you and wherever you were going, there wasn't a Wi-Fi network. Well, you can connect to your phone this way and still be able to inject your payloads. Do any other kind of network stuff that you want to do from your phone to your PS4. So the first app we're going to look at is PS4 Serve. And this is the app that we're going to be using to inject the payloads and host the payloads. So if we just search for PS4 Serve and then 3... And if you search for that on your phone, you should get the GitHub page somewhere. Should be near the top, hopefully. Should get past all the ads. Uh, there it is there. So this one here like on GitHub. So we're going to select this and download the version 2.3.zip or the latest version, which, whatever that is by the time you're watching the video. It might be on a newer version. So just download the latest zip file. So once it's downloaded, we can head back to your files and then head to downloads. And there it is there, so we're going to select this and extract it, extract the APK file. Yeah, because I've downloaded it before, so I'm just going to say replace. And there we go. So now all you have to do is select the APK file and install it, and that will install the app. Now, it, if you don't have installing from unknown sources on, then it will give you an error. You'll have to enable that so that you, you won't get access denied when you try and install the app. But there we go, that's done. So now we can open the app and allow access and there we go so it's got a bunch of payloads here that are ready to be hosted you just select the payload you want to host and then it will go ahead and host it for you so so for example if we wanted to host the ftp payload i can just select ftp and that's selected and now when i go onto the internet browser and i go to that url that, that's in there at the top so i think you have to enter the whole thing so if you do http colon double slash 192.168.43 in this case. And then we do dot one. 
then colon, and of course the port number, which is 8080. And you have to add the forward slash at the end as well, otherwise it will say it's like an unrecognized or non-supported uh, format. So we'll go ahead and do that and select go. And that should take us there and start loading the payload. There you go, it says sending payload. And hopefully if we don't get a kernel panic, we should be good, there we go. And there's FTP running. So we've ran that payload directly from our phone. So if you wanna just access FTP on your phone now, you can just head to the Google Play Store and just search for some FTP app. So if I just search for FTP client, then it will come up with some FTP apps. Um, you know, there's loads to choose from, so I'll just pick this one. I don't know if it's the best, you know, FTP apps, probably not, but you know, it's probably decent enough. So we'll install this. Okay, there we go, done. So now I'll open the app and allow access. Okay, so you just head to the top left. I know you can't see where I'm where I'm actually touching on the phone. That's kind of pr the problem with the screen recorder. But if the if you click the three bars in the top left hand corner, and then select Add Server, and then for the display name, we're just going to call it PS4. So we'll call it PS4, and then for the host, we're going to put in the IP address of the PS4, 43.208, I think it was. And then port number is of course 1337 and we're going to do anonymous login and tick and there we go that should hopefully connect us to our ps4 uh, whatever that is okay so now if we go to the top left again there's our ps4 if i select it there we go we now have access to the file system of the ps4 here uh, on our phone so we can download files or upload files to our ps4's hard drive from here using this FTP app. So that's another thing you can do with your phone right there. So the, so the next thing you can do on your phone is you can also mod your games. You can use a trainer to modify your games from your phone. Um, so to do that, we're gonna need to download the WebRTE payload. So if we search for the PS4 trainer, or PS4 web trainer, that would be better actually. So if we search for PS4 web trainer, search for that, Go to the actual website here, ps4trainer.com. Click the three bars in the top right, go to downloads, and then download the 5.05 .05 payload to your phone. Then we're gonna go to my files. We're gonna go to downloads, and we're just gonna hold our finger down on it to select it, and then we're gonna copy or move it um, to internal storage, and then go down to ps4.50x payloads and then we're gonna move it into into here so that we can host it with PS4 Serve. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to PS4 Serve. So we're gonna run this again. Right, so there you go. You can see it's now there in the bottom, WebRTE 5.05. .05. So I can select that now and we can host that. So that's how you add custom payloads to PS4 Serve. Um, you just have to put them in that directory in your internal storage in the root of your phone's internal storage. You put it in that folder and then it's hostable from uh, PS4 Serve app. So now what we can do is we can just, well, I guess we should probably close out of the browser, reopen it before we load this payload. And now it should load WebRTE now. Go into the same address, WebRTE loaded, and there you go, PS4 Trainer has been loaded. Visit ps4trainer.com, sit back, relax, and enjoy some mods. So there we go. So let's run one of our games here. Okay, so I'm loading a game up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back onto Chrome again. And this time we'll click Get Started on the PS4 Trainer website. So here's all the games that are supported. Quite a lot right here. So if we go to PS4 IP and enter our PlayStation 4's IP address, which was 192.168.43.208. That's on the hotspot. And then we search for the game, God of War. Okay, so the version that I have, I think, is 07411. So I'm going to select this version. And there we go. It says trainer attached at the bottom. So it is working. And it says there on the PS4 as well. So if I pause the game, you can see I have 0 XP and 0 hack silver. But if I select 999 money, there you go. It pops up. And if I refresh there, it changes to 99999 hack silver. And let's do experience as well. There you go, experience enabled and 99999 XP. And I can also put on infinite rage and god mode as well. 
I should have infinite rage and god mode. So let's see if I do. I would not say I have god mode or infinite rage. Oh no, I do have infinite rage. Okay, that's working. But for some reason, an infinite, infinite health doesn't seem to be working. But infinite rage... Infinite Rage is working. It's not The bar is not going down. So there you go. You can see that works as well. But uh, yeah, you can modify your games with a, with a trainer from your phone. And inject the payload as well to get it working. Because you can use the trainer, obviously, on the PS4 itself. But, uh, you know, you can inject the payload for it on the phone. Plus use the trainer on the phone as well. So there you go. That's another thing you can do right there from your phone. So moving on. So the last thing I wanted to show you was remotely installing package files. So you can download package files onto your phone and then install them directly to your PS4. So to do that, we're going to need a couple of things. So if we head back onto the Google Play Store, we're going to search for dark software, oops, dark software LLC. So space LLC. This is the easiest way to find it, I think. So if you search for this, the top one should be package installer. So if we select that and install it. Okay, and while that's installing, I'm gonna go ahead and go back onto Chrome here and search for Infinix. And there we go, right there at the top. So we're gonna select Lightning Mods Repositories and we want the Infinix Package Installer Payload. View all releases, expand assets, and then download infinix.bin. Now, by the time you're watching this, this payload might actually be already part of PS4 Serve. Um, you know, the developer might add it in. But uh, for now, it's not. So I'm just going to have to uh, install it manually. So we're going to go into My Files. I'm going to go back into Downloads. There's Infinix. So I'm going to hold that, hold my finger down on it and then move. And move it to uh, Internal Storage. And of course, PS4 underscore 50x underscore payloads we're going to move it in there and now we can host it with ps4 serve and of course that's now downloaded as well so now if i go to ps4 serve we should now have infinix there it is so i can select infinix so we're now hosting that and then if i go to the internet browser and we load that up Infinix loaded. There we go. Welcome to the Infinix package installer. Remember, you need the SPRX plugin inside, I think it's the data folder or the or TMP folder somewhere, somewhere like that. I covered it in a previous video, the how to set up Infinix. But if you're using a phone, you know, you can go through the, you can still do it on a phone installing the, the plugin. So yeah, now that we have Infinix loaded there, we can now install a package file by using by using the package installer app so if we open that and allow and then of course you can install the payload plugin here so if you don't have the payload plugin installed just select that option um, and then enter the IP address of your uh, PS4 and it will install the plugin then you can run the Infinix payload a second time and start installing your package files um, I already have the plugin installed so I can just go straight to package installer uh, enter the IP address of your PS4 which is 43.208 for me. We don't need to enter a username or password. That's only if you have like custom FTP settings. Um, and then we're gonna browse for package files and I do happen to have Minecraft here already downloaded, the package file. So I can select that and then I just click install. And there you go, it starts installing, receiving package from client. And that's the percentage there at the bottom is it transferring it over using FTP. It's transferring the game over to the PS4's hard drive. Once that gets to 100%, it should start installing on the PlayStation 4. There you go, package sent, added to downloads. So it's now being installed, there it is. Minecraft PlayStation 4 edition. And any second now, and this is over Wi-Fi as well, using the hotspot on the phone. And it's working pretty well, saved IP restored and boom ready to use so if i launch it here you'll see that it runs and we've just gone ahead and remotely installed the game from our phone directly to the ps4 and now we can run it here on our playstation 4. so yeah there you go guys that is a bunch of stuff you can do with your phone with an android phone 
with your PS4, your jailbroken PS4, without using a computer at all. You don't need a computer for any of the stuff I showed you right here. You can do it all from your phone, installing package files, using FTP, hosting payloads, injecting payloads, modding your games with PS4 Web Trainer. You can do all of that stuff from your phone and more. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful and check out Raid Shadow Legends in the description because it does help support the channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video.